Hey guys, it's Viv, and for today's video, I'm back with another episode of Back to Basics. I know it's been a while, but I wanted to show you guys how I did this embroidery so that you guys can embroider your own things. So to begin, you can see that I've gone ahead and I've drawn out my design with a pencil on my fabric, and I'm using a cotton broadcloth to do this, this project. Then I'm going to go ahead and put on my embroidery hoop and tighten it so that my fabric is nice and taut. And I'm going to start off with this plant here, and we're going to be doing a satin stitch. So the way you do a satin stitch is you just make tiny horizontal stitches or vertical stitches. It depends on um, which way you're looking at it and what kind of shape you do along um, the shape of what you want to embroider. So you can see that I'm doing it here. I've, I'm doing a leaf shape. So what I did is I divided the leaf into two, and I'm going to stitch either half one at a time. So you can see that I am doing the horizontal stitches on one half of it all the way down, and then when I get to the other side I'm just going to come back up the other way. So this stitch is pretty commonly used and I would also say that it's pretty easy to do. You just have to have quite a bit of patience to do it. But it does make your project look really cool. And you can see that I did a satin stitch to do the leaves on these embroidered shorts that I have featured on my Instagram before. So once you finish doing um, your shape that you've embroidered, you can see that I finished it there. Um, you're just going to take a small section, maybe in like the back or on the fabric, slip your needle through it, and tie a knot. If you don't know how to do that, I explained it a little bit more in depth in my first um, episode of Back to Basics. So I'll put that in a card and link it in the description box if you haven't seen it. So there you can see that I've finished up my whole thing. And now I'm going to do the stem of the plant with a back stitch. So the way you do a back stitch is that you prepare a needle and start making a stitch just like you normally would if you were doing a running stitch. But then when you come out for your next stitch, you're just going to go a little bit in front of where um, you did your last stitch. And then you're going to stitch back. So instead of going forward with my stitching and create creating a running stitch, I'm just going to go back so that it creates like a solid line. And the trick is with the back stitch is that you want to keep your um, stitches pretty even so that they look nice and neat. And also when you're doing it on a shape like a plant or something, you want to keep them kind of evenly spaced out. And if you're going to have things like leaves coming out of them, kind of center them and just plan on, kind of like think about where you're going to put your stitches. And then you can just tie it off as usual. And then I'm also doing the plant beside it with a back stitch. It's kind of like a fern. And then to add detail, I separated my embroidery floss so that it would only have three strands instead of six. And then I'm just doing more back stitches in between my, my other stitches just so that it kind of adds texture and um, different dimensions of sizes of stitching to the plant. And then you just tie it off as usual. And then to do the roses, you're gonna stitch, you're gonna draw this kind of um, pinwheel shape. It's like a circle divided up into five sections. And then you're just gonna stitch along the lines, um, making sure that all your stitches meet in the center. And the trick is with this is to kind of keep your pinwheel, like your legs of the, the pinwheel pretty even. And then come up through one of the sections and weave your strand in and out of the um, the lines that you've stitched. So you don't have to go through the fabric, you're literally just weaving your needle and your embroidery floss in and out of the, um, the stitches that you created. So you go over one, and then you skip the next one, and you go over, under, over, under, just in the repeating pattern until you get all the way to the end of the flower. And then once you're done, kind of stick your needle back into um, the flower so that it goes to the back and just tie it off as usual. And then that's pretty much it for the, the embroidery that I'm going to show you guys. But um, for the roses, another optional step is to just kind of pull at the stitches so that a, little, a couple threads kind of come a little bit loose just to add texture and dimension to the flowers. And there you go. That's all um, you have to do. So I created this for like a pocket on this little sewing caddy that I made for my school fashion class. And I'm so in love with the way it turned out. 
So anyways guys, that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos in the Back to Basics series, American Girl, Ever After High, and Barbie doll videos as well. And if you decide to try out these embroidery techniques, be sure you send me a picture on Instagram because I would love to see it. And yeah, if you found this video helpful, be sure you hit the bell so that you don't miss any other Back to Basics series episodes and um, or my other videos. So yeah, again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time for another video. Bye!